of the kelp forest. This is growing on the rocky shore of Troon in North Ayrshire. This species is Laminaria digitata, the ore weed. Now you can find these for something like three quarters of Britain's coastline, so this form a very substantial area of plant growth. Forming some substantial forests, these plants are very important for habitats, for fish, for crustaceans, for mollusks, and so on. They remain attached to the rock by a structure known as a holdfast, or a hapteron. They're able to continue growing if they break loose. But they'll die if they wash up onto the beach and get uh, desiccated or they go into conditions that are too warm. Here's an example of an orbeed that's been unlucky enough to get washed there at the beach. But here you can see the structure of the hapteron or the holdfast. There are certain species that uh, live within these and it's their habitat. You don't find them growing or living elsewhere. You can see why they're called digitata. They look like the digits or fingers. They can live for anything up to six years. And the length of the, the frond of the seaweed depends on the position where it's growing, water temperature and so on. These kelp forests and grow for anything up to a mile out to sea. And as long as the depth doesn't get more than about 20 meters. Because being plants, they have to get the right wavelengths of sunlight coming through. They do contain chlorophyll A and B, although this brown pigment here, Fucosanthin, is typical to all the brown seaweeds. There are quite a few species of the brown seaweeds. For instance, here's uh, Thucus serratus, the serrated rack. You also get green and red coloured seaweeds as well. This one looks like the sea lettuce. The Japanese actually uh, make a, a foodstuff out of the ore weed. A number of seaweeds, including the ore weed, reproduce using an alteration of generation. That is that this structure here, the adults if you like, produces little zoospores that swim through the water. One type attaches itself to a rock and develops into a female, the other into a male. Then the male gametes are released and then the female develops into these fully grown plants. Orweed used to be harvested for a number of purposes. Vast amounts were taken up and used on the fields as fertilizer. Also, iodine could be extracted from them. They were burnt and used to produce potash for the glass industry. And still today, some are collected and used to produce alginates that are used in cosmetics, toothpaste, and even in ice cream to make it smooth, so ice crystals from forming.